Hello friends, my name is Tin. I am a children's librarian at Old Worthington Library, and in our video today, I am here to talk about second grade books. So I have a few books that I've pulled that have recently come out, and I will be talking about each and every one of them. And if you are interested in any of them, definitely check them out, reserve them, and enjoy them yourselves. And without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so let's say that you like books about robots or stories that are set in outer space or just funny books in general. Well, I have the book series for you then. It's called Bots and it's written by Russ Boltz. And in this book series, it features two robot friends, Joe and Rob. And you don't have to read this series in order. Um, our two robot friends always get into trouble. And in this installment, The Secret Space Station, uh, Joe and Rob are celebrating Space Day. And on Space Day, everyone on the planet Mecca Base One has to share a new discovery. And our two friends haven't discovered anything yet. So they set off into space on a rocket ship to find something so that they can share it. So it's kind of like how on Earth we have um, a day where you get to share with your class. Um, that's what our two friends are doing. Um, so as they're exploring space, they discover a secret space station. So they explore the space station and find out that it's not just an empty space station. There's something living on that space station. What could it be? And what did they discover? Will it be um, great enough to share for space day? Find out in Bots, the super secret space station. Were you a fan of the book series Owl Diaries? If you were, then I have some good news for you. Rebecca Elliott, author of that series, came out with the new one called Unicorn Diaries. Now, if you're not familiar with Rebecca Elliott's books, that's okay. If you like books about friendship or stories that feature unicorns, then definitely check this series out. And in this series, we meet our main character, Rainbow Tinseltail, who goes by Bo for short. And Bo goes to unicorn school, where she learns how to use her unicorn powers. And at school, they earn badges. And once they have enough badges, they'll be able to graduate from unicorn school. Now, Bo is a wish unicorn. So as a wish unicorn, she can grant one wish a week to anyone that wishes. Um, but she gets to decide whose wishes that she gets to grant. And this week in school, they have to use their powers to help someone. Now, as a wish unicorn, that should be really easy. She just has to grant a wish. Unfortunately, her new friend, Sunny, who comes to school, he doesn't know his unicorn power. Will they be able to help each other out and figure out what Sunny's unicorn power is? And how will Sunny be able to use his unicorn power to help someone? If you're interested, definitely check out Unicorn Diaries, Bo's magical new friend. Do you have pets, like a cat or a dog or a goldfish? Do you ever wonder if they're talking about you or even fighting over you? Well, in this book, Dear Bees, written by Lori Hilstead Butler, that's exactly what happens. Our little cat friend here is named Simon, and he has been taking care of his human, Andy. And Andy's parents have gotten a divorce. But that's okay, because now he has two homes, two rooms, and even gets to celebrate holidays two, two times. Now, Simon lives with Andy's mom, and um, whenever Andy comes to visit, Simon loves to cuddle with Andy. But when Andy's dad gets a new pet, little dog friend here, named Baxter, Simon was furious. So he decides to write Baxter a letter. Now, when Simon writes letters, they're beautifully written with no spelling mistakes and complete sentences. And unfortunately, our friend Baxter, he's still learning to, to spell correctly and write. So he's learning and he's giving it a try. Um, so Simon is telling Baxter, like, we don't, we don't need you. We, Andy's has enough pet with me. Like I, I can give him enough love and attention. We, we don't need you to be around. So he tries to convince Baxter to leave. And now Baxter is a happy-go-lucky dog. 
and he just wants to be friends with Simon and friends with Andy. But unfortunately, Simon is, with all of his letters to Baxter, able to convince Baxter to leave. And at first, Simon was thrilled. He finally is able to get rid of Baxter. But he notices that Andy's really sad. And not only Andy, but Andy's dad too. So what is Simon to do? Is he going to be able to track down Baxter? And will he be able to get Baxter back home to make Andy happy again and his family complete again? Find out in Dear Beast. Do you like scary stories? Or do you need something to read during October and Halloween? Well, then I have the book for you. It's titled Mr. Shivers, Beneath the Bed, and Other Scary Stories, written by uh, Max Brawler. So in this book, it features five short scary stories. And at the beginning of the book, it opens with a letter to the reader. And I'll read it to you guys. It says, Dear Reader, I like scary stories that are cold, dark, and surprising. Just like the stories in this book. A strange box was left at my doorstep. A dead mouse sat beside it. Here's what I found inside. A tree branch, a doll's eye, a piece of an old quilt, a toy's rusty head. There was also a notebook in the box. This note was taped to it. It said, promise me, Mr. Shivers, that you will share the stories inside this book. So, this book is my promise. I pass these stories to you and I hope you like scary stories because these stories will make you shiver. Signed, Mr. Shivers. So if you like scary stories, definitely check this out. There's um, a story about a brother and sister who are dared to explore a haunted house. There is another story with a creepy warning about an eerie statue. And I think what the great thing about this book is that they are short stories, so it's easy for you to remember the stories and even tell your friends, and you can also get through this book fairly quickly. Um, so definitely check out Mr. Shivers Beneath the Bed and other scary stories. Okay, so my last book is one of my new favorites. It's titled Rabbit and Bear Attack of the Snack, written by Julian Goff and Jim Field. Um, this book is actually a series, so if you like this one, definitely check out the other ones. It's essentially a friendship story with our friends Rabbit and Bear. And at the beginning of this book, Rabbit and Bear are swimming in a lake, and they discover a mysterious, wet, soggy fluff ball. And it turns out that soggy, wet fluff ball is actually an owl. Now, Rabbit has heard things about owls and has heard that owls are vicious, mean, and evil. So he convinces the other animals to lock up Owl in animal prison, which, oh, look at poor little Owl. Now, all of the animals have shared what they've heard. They've heard that owls eat other critters like them, hunt them, but Bear, now Bear thinks differently. She doesn't think that it's okay for uh, animals to just judge other animals based on what they've heard. So she struggles with, does she speak up against her friends or does she go along with everybody else and what they're doing? So find out what Bear does in Rabbit and Bear Attack of the Snack. And that's it. That's all the books I have for you guys today. I want to say thank you for checking out our video. Hopefully this video had a few books that were interesting enough for you to uh, reserve, check out, read, and enjoy. And uh, at the end of the video, I will have a list of all the book titles with the author so that it is easier for you to find the books since it was a really difficult with some of the glare that was coming back from the covers. And uh, again, I want to say thank you for checking out our video. And I'm hoping that everyone stays safe and happy readings. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.